So until the last video, we were creating the objects for the login page and the home page. So in this video, we'll try to add some further code right here, like calling these properties and the methods from the login page. And also we'll try to make use of the page navigation. So let's quickly call the home page and the login page. So for that first, I'm going to call something like this home page, home page page dot there is a method called launch so I'm gonna call that and here I'm gonna pass the home page object and then I need to pass the URL so the URL is something but our HTTP colon double slash localhost cool right so then I need to click the login link so I can call this method click login link and since we are going to use the page navigation this click login link is going to return as the login page so i can just use the var login page right and within this login page we actually have the login method where i can pass the username and password which is nothing but the admin and password is the password cool so once it is done, it is going to return as the home page again. So home page. Cool. I'm going to save this. So let's see what is the error. Hmm. I'm sorry. I should return the home page, but I just wrongly typed the login page there. So I'm going to save it. There we go. So there is gone. So now if I try to run this test, there will be an error, which is pretty much expected. And I will tell you why there is happening. All right, click the login and then we'll get an error. So this error is happening. As you can see the error message, it says that the system dot invalid operation exception, the view object has not been configured with the search limit container. And if you see the real problem of this particular issue, of course, you'll not really get the essence of the exception because it is not much clear. But the problem that we did in the code is this. We have returned the page, which is nothing but the login page while clicking the click login. But here in Qt, there is a another method available, a generic method available, which is called navigate to. So you need to call this method and this method you need to pass the page which you're going to return something like this similarly in the login page we need to change it to navigate to of home page there we go i'm going to save it and now if we try to run this test it will run fine as expected cool so this is how we can actually make use of page navigation concept in Qt. And now if we try to click the employee list link, then what we have to do is we need to add a small code there in the home page. So for this, we just have to paste it right here. And this is going to be LNK employee list. And then for instead of ID, we can use the by search properties of inner text is equal to employee list. I think it is employee list. So let's quickly see what it is. Yep, employee list. So we will try to see if we could click that homepage dot now let's try to run and see how it works. There we go. It also clicked the employee list. So this is how you can do the page object model with your Qt. And also you can implement the page navigation concept using the navigate to method, get screen objects method and screen and screen object class. Thank you.